Hello, my name is Dejaya. I'm 23 years old and I'm currently working as an English teacher in Osaka Prefecture in Japan. In a middle school culture club I was part of, we fundraised to actually go visit Japan for five days and that really set me on my journey of kind of returning to Japan to live and work. I've been studying Japanese for almost 10 years now, but I studied it in high school and college so I am kind of a student for life now. I'd love to gain a higher fluency so I continue to study to this day. What I like most about the JET program is the fact that I'm able to connect directly with the community through the school that I work at. I work most closely with the elementary schoolers and they're able to meet someone from a completely different culture and background and see that other people in the world are normal just like them and can be nice and friendly and hopefully encourage them to go out and meet more people who are different from themselves and maybe even travel around the world to meet other people. I think the biggest difference between American and Japanese schools is that the children take responsibility for and clean the building in which they go to school in. After lunch, all the school children, they grab their rooms, they grab their cleaning cloths, and they get to work. They clean their classrooms, they clean the hallways, they even sweep out in the corridor. And I think that gives them a sense of responsibility for the world around them. Um, I think that's just a good lesson to learn. A typical workday starts when I get to school at 8.15. I'll put my coat away and I'll go into the teacher's room, say ohayou gozaimasu to everyone I pass by, and I prepare for my lessons. We have four lessons each day because each grade level has four classes. And then after our classes are done, we have lunch, and I eat the same school lunch that the children eat. It's very nutritious and well-balanced. And then after lunch, sometimes we have afternoon classes, but generally that's time for lesson planning. And then around 4.45, I go home. I definitely think it's easier to be a JET if you can speak some Japanese, because most likely your coworkers will not know any English, and it's nice to be able to communicate at least on a basic level with the other human beings around you every day. And it's a way that you will be able to make friends, make connections, and just have a sense of belonging, so I think it's very important to know at least a little bit. My favorite Japanese word is ganbatte. We say that a lot. Ganbatimasu, ganbatte, ganbatte kurasai. It kind of means good luck, do your best, try your hardest. In terms of favorite konbini, I don't have a favorite konbini. Pretty much any konbini that has the pizza man. It's almost like a Japanese pizza hot pocket is a way you could describe it, except it's a lot softer and chewier than a hot pocket it's kind of like shaped like a ball like this and you bite into it and you get the nice melty cheese and tomato sauce so any place that has pizza man is a favorite konbini of mine my favorite thing to do around osaka is probably walking around seeing what i can see i can't do much right now because of covid but when i can i try to get out i went on a roller skating meetup around osaka castle that was very fun and i was able to see osaka castle for the first time it was beautiful so yeah, I'm pretty basic. I like ramen, I like sushi, but maybe a more unique thing would be takoyaki. The octopus balls are kind of like a savory batter grilled on like a special grill with divots and you put a nice chunky piece of octopus in the middle and then you put lots of toppings on top and it's so savory and yummy and warm. It's probably one of my favorite Japanese foods. I love it so much that back in the States, I bought a special takoyaki pan so I could make takoyaki at home because it tastes best fresh. I do not like it from the freezer section. Warm toilet seats. I know that sounds weird, but the Western style toilets are usually super toilets or toilets with bidets and usually they have a seat warming feature so they have it at my school and they have it at a lot of public places and I just like to have a warm toilet seat. <laughs> From now on I, I can't live without warm toilet seats. That's a difficult question for me to answer because I don't have a clear plan as to what I'm going to do afterwards but I'm only 23 years old the world is my oyster still so whether I go get a master's degree in something or get some certificates online or get a job through the AfterJet program job fair, I'm up for anything. Build up your resume with Japan related things. 
I knew for a long time I wanted to come and live and work in Japan. Since then, I made it my long-term goal to come and live and work in Japan on the JET program. For seven years, I worked towards that goal, building my resume. I was in a unique position to be located near Washington, D.C., so there were many Japan America related societies and organizations that I was able to volunteer with. For example, the Japan America Society of Washington, D.C. has their annual Cherry Blossom Festival, in which I volunteered at yearly. And I was able to network with many different people who became mentors and friends and contacts I was able to reach out to later on, as well as attend their high school Japanese language and culture competition Japan Bowl. In college, I continued to study Japanese and do different Japan related things. I studied abroad during college in my senior year at Nanzan University in Nagoya and IG Prefecture. So all those different things add them up on my list of thing, Japan related things on my resume and that'll definitely be a good look for employers you apply for different opportunities like that. So build up your resume any way you can with Japan related things. And yes, thank you so much for watching. That was me. Bye.